welcome to another edition of Chicago Crossing Model Railroad. Eric here with you as always. I have a rare Wednesday off, uh, being that this is uh, an extended Thanksgiving holiday. And, you know, I was trying to think what do I want to do with the railroad? So, yesterday, I installed a new DCC system, so I have running trains, thank God, uh, back to doing that. It's amazing how you can miss running trains after you don't run them for a little while. But then I thought to myself, well, what am I going to do today? Um, and, you know, sometimes if you're anything like me, you uh, think about it for a while, maybe at night before you fall asleep, you're like, oh, what could I do on my railroad? And then maybe you go and do that thing. In my case, uh, the big thing was actually installing a, a DCC system. And so then that left me with today. And what the heck am I going to do? So I thought to myself, well, why not just indulge in some of the small things all over again? And do a little bit of uh, scenicing on the layout. And so that's what I've ended up deciding to do. So over here and then uh, down in the other side, I've had these rock formations that have been here and they really just sort of stick out. You know, there's not a lot of barren rock per se in the Chicago area. Usually it gets covered with something or other. So I figured let's cover it up, but also, you know, I've got areas like over here, this what would be, you know, perhaps a small turning basin for barges. And that would create essentially a gyre uh, in the water where uh, you just start to get stuff to collect. On top of that, the boundary between the water and this rock was, you know, sort of not clear. You almost get this fractal effect where eventually you get uh, to the point where it's hard to know where the seam of the water should begin versus where the rock should end. And so if you, you know, do what I did here, which is you kind of cover it up with a little bit of plant life, that can help uh, just sort of relieve that visual tension that's created. So I thought for today, in the absence of major ambition, well, why not just tackle a few minor things and see how that goes? And so that's what I'm going to do. And so I pulled out the map media and a small brush. And I'm going to uh, add plant life and plant matter and uh, things like that. I think that's actually a ton of fun. Also got a little bit of uh, gravel here. Uh, you know, the best model railroading tool in many ways is actually just dirt and dirt from the yard. In this case, because I've got a little rock formation, you can imagine there's, you know, just little bits and pieces of rock that fall into the water and create a little bit of a shoreline. With the way that this is faux painted, you don't really have, you know, it's not looking as if there's a major change in depth there. So that's really helpful. And so in this case, just, you know, spending a lazy day doing scenery. <laughs> 